so we've made some progress uh, it's going through a test pattern right now I've got the homing working in the software so right now it's doing a home homing the x-axis homing the y-axis and then it starts running through the program and the program is g-code I figure why reinvent the wheel um, so it's fairly bulk standard g-code um, I've added special meanings for g15 and g16 to change between relative absolute motion polar coordinates Cartesian coordinates blah 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 it's not quite standard but whatever um, it's looking pretty good my only quibble is that the um, microcontroller I'm using in the sort of crude way I'm using it can't step very quickly or can't can't step fast enough to hit the speeds that I'd like not the speeds that I need really I mean right now it's running at close to its maximum speed and that's plenty fast enough for drawing lines in sand for its intended purpose um, but I, I would like to be able to go faster than this and this is running at 16 by micro stepping um, and on the final one I want to do 32 by and uh, that will be even slower but it will be quieter so it's kind of a trade-off um, as I mentioned I'm doing pretty crude pretty crude uh, stepper control here I'm just it's just a, a loop um, where I just spin until it's time to take a step and then take a step all this codes on github so if you just didn't have a look um, there are some hardware timers you can access on this thing, but I'm not sure if you can access them from MicroPython, so I might have to port my code to raw C rather than MicroPython. I've got all the prototyping set up. So I've got my opto, uh, slotted opto switches wired in here, and they're connected to an input on there. Um, but yeah, progress, chunk it along. This is the sort of sloppy part of it, writing a G code interpreter. Um, at present, I've got a few instructions. So there's G1, so that can have X and Y or X or Y, and then that that goes to those coordinates or it moves in that axis. Uh, G28 is homing, so that homes the axis, zeroes out the index, so it knows where it is. And G15 sets the coordinate mode, which is uh, at the moment it's uh, raw, polar, or Cartesian. Uh, raw is the angle of the arm um, without doing any of the kinematics so it's just that's at zero degrees that's at 90 degrees and likewise for this arm whereas in proper coordinate modes it would understand the relationship of the angle between that and that and so if you say go to zero degrees this will go to that no matter where arm one is but at present, it will just go straight out, essentially, away from the center, which is not correct. Uh, well, that's correct for raw mode, but not for proper proper coordinate systems. And movement mode, I've, I've made up that one which is, uh, to allow, because the vast majority of the patterns for the sand drawing thing are just going to be a speed for each of the steppers. And so I want to have a continuous raw mode that just moves them at two different speeds and there's there's the whole heap of different cool patterns you can get out of those simple rules um, so that's why I wanted that specific mode but it will also be able to do proper Cartesian moving between A and B or X and Y as the case may be so a program that you load into it will be sent over MQTT but for now it's hard coded in there and it's just that so in this particular coordinate uh, this particular program here it homes X, homes Y, sets the coordinate mode to absolute, um, and then sets X axis to 90 degrees, Y axis to 0 degrees, Y axis to 180, 270, 360, 180, 90, blah blah blah, so on. So it just does that loop. And at the present, I've got it set to, when it gets to the end of the program, loop back to pattern step 0. Um, I'm thinking of adding a jump g-code which will jump back to a line in the program and um, that might be handy but not not a standard g-code um okay that's what i'm up to bye bye